Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. In this video, we're going to look at how we can copy and paste some information out of a Word doc or a spreadsheet into some default tables inside of Dash Pivot. And we'll start off with the Word doc, or in this case, I've got a Google doc open on the right-hand side and we've got Dash Pivot open as well. And there might be times where you've got some information either stored in a Word doc or you've received it through email and you want to insert that information into a table inside of your Dash Pivot account. Um, for example, you might have received some information like this where you've got a list of rooms that need to be inspected. You want to take some photos and uh, store some information against that list uh, and insert that into a report. Uh, in this case, it's pretty easy. So let's start off by just trying to copy and paste this information up the top. You can see there's multiple lines of text. The second line has some bold and underlined text here. And we're gonna try and paste that into this, uh, this first cell inside our table. And if I, so all I did here was select everything and right click copy. And then we're going to right click and paste that information into Dash Pivot. Now, a couple of things to make note of here. Uh, if your selection has multiple lines of text, um, Dash Pivot will paste all of it into one cell. So you can see, even though we had two lines, it's pasted it all into the one cell. So if you have uh, like a, a list of lines, it's not going to make multiple rows. It will, Dash Pivot will paste all of that information into the cell. And the pasted information will be converted to plain text. So you can see we don't have any bold or underline here anymore. Uh, that's removed when we paste it into Dash Pivot. And you can't paste uh, text into like a number cell or a date cell or a time cell. Um, you need to make sure that the information that's being pasted is the correct format. Um, so in this case, we would not be able to paste in. I mean, we can try, um, but we can't actually paste that information into the number cell. Dash Pivot just doesn't accept it. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. So we're just trying to copy and paste some text in here. Um, if we're trying to copy and paste information from a table uh, into a table inside of Dash Pivot, uh, this works as well, um, but we, again, we just need to make sure that with the type of information that we're pasting in, we are pasting it in uh, with, the, with the right format. So in this case, uh, luckily for us, the number column is a list of numbers and the floor uh, column is, you know, it's text, it's got text and numbers in here. This date column definitely needs to be a date and the time needs to be a, a time. So let's try and paste this in. So I'm going to select everything that we see in the table and right click and copy. And let's try and paste this in. Now we have five columns here. We have an extra one for photos. So I just wanna show you how this behaves. If I right click and paste that in, what do we get? You can see that we've got all of the information in the first column pasted in, the second column pasted in just fine but then we don't get anything in these other columns. Um, the reason for that is that Dash Pivot is trying to paste this inspection date column into this photos column and it can't be accepted. And then with the time column, it's the same. It's trying to paste this time information into the uh, date inspected uh, column, which is a date, not a time. Uh, so that's not going to work. So in this scenario, uh, it's pretty easy. All, all that we can do is just select uh, only these columns now and copy and paste in here. And you can see that it comes in just fine. And you'll notice that Dash Pivot does pick up that there were some blank uh, values in here. So it's sort of skipped over those. So obviously we didn't have that uh, on this side. Um, another thing that we could have done is if we insert a column to the right, so now we have five columns and we select everything and right click and copy. I'm just gonna clear everything that we have in this table and show you what that looks like. So now we've uh, selected all five columns and let's try and paste that in. And you see that everything maps perfectly and everything shows up just fine. What's nice about copying and pasting into Dash Pivot is that uh, in this default table, additional rows are automatically populated. So we don't need to make sure that we've got 
all of the rows created before we paste. Dash Pivot takes care of that automatically. Uh, but just be aware that you can overwrite content in other cells. For example, if I now selected these three uh, cells here and copied those and went to paste them uh, in this uh, cell at the top here, you'll see that that's actually overwritten some of the other cells. So that's an important thing to just be aware of. But overall, this is pretty convenient. So let's just delete these rows and paste in everything again. And I wanna show you what we can do using the mobile app once we've pasted this information in. So let's assume we've got all our room numbers in here. We've got the floors. We've got some information about the date inspected, although we might actually need to change that. Same with the time. But let's save this form and take a look at it on the mobile app. So here we are in the Dash Pivot app and we have a form here, which we created online just a minute ago. And if we open it up and scroll down, you can see we've got our table and we've got all the values that have been pasted into our table, including the dates and the times, everything's here. Um, and this is really convenient because now if we wanna take a photo for uh, room 101 on level one, uh, we can just click the add photos button and in this case, we're going to open the camera and take a new photo. And maybe I'll take a photo of this plant here. We can draw on it, can add some arrows, click done. And then what we wanna do is click the next button down the bottom, add in a description and click save. And then you can see that our uh, photo has been added into that cell in the table. So assuming that we go through and fill out the rest of the table, adding in all, all of our photos, we can click save once we're done. Dash Pivot will upload those changes and then we will return online and reopen that form. You can see that we've now got that photo there. So it's really, really convenient to be able to paste uh, information from somewhere else into Dash Pivot, populate our table of rooms and then be able to go and add additional detail into that table via the mobile app. So let's now take a look at copy and pasting from a spreadsheet. So now I've got Google Sheets open and I have a list of parts and part numbers. And let's say that we're going to be inspecting these parts and taking some photos. We have another template set up, a parts inspection template in Dash Pivot. Again, we have a default table with a couple of columns and what we're going to do is copy this information and paste it into, uh, into this table. This works identically to the way that we would copy and paste out of a Word doc, uh, a table in a Word doc. So we're just going to select everything, right click, copy, put our cursor into the cell for the uh, part, right click and paste it in. and it populates our list for us. So now, again, we could open up the mobile app, take a photo against each part, save that, and it will update our, uh, update our form inside of the system. Now, this is super convenient because a lot of the time, if you've got a list of parts or components, rooms, uh, anything where you've got like a long list of assets that you need to record some information against, some of the time that information is stored in a separate system and that system can provide you with a CSV or Excel export. Um, and it's very convenient to then be able to copy and paste that information directly into Dash Pivot. Um, the same rules apply here as well as we saw with the Word doc. So you can copy and paste multiple rows and columns of content at a time. The new rows are created automatically, but Dash Pivot will only accept the correct type of data according to the cell type. So as an example, you can't paste text uh, into a number cell, a time cell, or a date cell. It has to be the right type of information. So that wraps up this video. If you'd like to check out some of our other videos, head over to the tutorial section. We have articles and content covering all different aspects of the system, including some use cases. Uh, but if you get stuck or have a specific question, feel free to reach out to our team via live chat, both on the Dash Pivot website and inside of the Dash Pivot app. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.